ladies and gents. Welcome to another Romy Reports. And this is interesting. So we have uh, we have Mike Epps, who went to the Breakfast Club this morning and sat down with Charlemagne and DJ Envy. I guess Angela Yee was already in San Francisco or whatever. But uh, this is just a quick recap of what happened while he was there and my interpretation of it. Shout out, first of all, shout out to Mike Epps. Shout out to all of them that has gone to the Breakfast Club. Kevin Hart, Tiffany Haddish. Now I'm waiting for Cat Williams to go to the Breakfast Club because I appreciate the fact that everyone's able to go there, say their piece, be questioned on a couple of things, but still stick to whatever story or narrative they're trying to focus on and push. And I actually believe everyone's interpretation. Um, so we already had Kevin Hart say his piece. Tiffany Hash was also there. Now with Mike Epps, he talked about multiple things. One of the big things he talked about was the Hollywood gatekeepers, which is true. And he also mentioned, hey, for people who aren't in Hollywood, which is most people, what about the gatekeepers just in your life in the or in the well, workspaces that you work in? So let's say if you're at a hospital and you have to go through certain people in order to get certain operations approved or get certain paperwork pushed or whatever, you know, gatekeepers. One of the reasons why, and Mike Epps also kind of said the same thing, that he, he, he pushes this focus on, he's made a way for himself by working hard. And we all see that, we all believe that, but he feels like he doesn't make friends in Hollywood. He's not friends with anyone really in Hollywood. And he doesn't do that like politicking that a lot of other people do in order to help get their careers farther. So, and he does acknowledge that. So, but he, does, he doesn't do that because for him, it wouldn't be real. It wouldn't be genuine. It wouldn't make sense. And my whole thing is, it, we hear this all the time where it's like, look, you need to network, you need to go and keep certain business relationships so that you can get certain things green lit, or maybe that's your next opportunity will come. Hollywood's a little bit different because of how fake and phony a lot of it is. You hear this now more than ever where a lot of people are saying they really don't have that many friends in Hollywood or even in entertainment period because it's more so about using the next person to get to where you need to get to or where you want to get to. And Mike Epps, um, when he was talking about the gatekeepers, that was a big part of it. It's like he's not going to go and kiss butt. He wants to be able to go and say what's on his mind whenever he wants to say it. But what I can really appreciate from the entire interview is that we definitely got a more mature Mike Epps. Because I remember back in the day where he had no problem saying and being specific about bleep you, here's why, la la, ra ta 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 ta. Hold on. Now when we talk about Kevin Hart, because that was the first thing that happened. Because Kevin Hart talks about how Mike Epps doesn't really like him. And so Kevin Hart's like, you know what? Feelings mutual. Mike Epps said that, I said that I don't think that Kevin Hart's funny. That's my opinion. Now, this is where the gray area becomes. Because you have to think about a lot of us feel like, hmm, yes, you can have your opinion. Yes, you can voice your opinion, but be very clear. If you voice your opinion and it has to do with people who are in the same lane as you, then the repercussions will be, oh, you're hating or, oh, it's going to cause problems for you business-wise or other opportunity-wise. And I still feel that way. It does not mean that I don't think that you can't go and spill your guts, say how you really feel and mean because... I, I appreciate that and I respect that, but I think that's where the disconnect is. Um, when you're in the same lane as someone and at the heart of it all, Kevin Hart is a comedian. Mike Epps is a comedian. Forget the movies, forget everything else. That's where it all goes back to comedy. And so I get it why 
uh, Kevin Hart will feel a certain way, whether he acknowledges it or not, that this other comedian said that he doesn't think I'm funny or doesn't think that my brand is funny. And now there's another prominent comedian who's also saying that, you know, I'm only getting these looks because of this or because of that. They're talking about two different reasons, but they're, it all centers around to, ah, you're good, but eh. my guess is saying, no, I'm not saying that Kevin Hart isn't good. I'm not saying that he's not deserving of what he has, but I'm saying that we need to call a thing a thing. And that's where the whole gatekeeper thing came to play because my guess is just like, here's how this works. Kevin Hart goes through gatekeepers. Kevin Hart now is huge. So he is a gatekeeper to a certain extent as well. What that means is when you talk about putting people off, remember to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe and come back. You have to remember that you as a gatekeeper have the ability to yay or nay people so but part of that thing of putting people on is kind of bull because the people have the person has to come with something the person has to be marketable liked there has to be something extra to them in order for a large majority to support them so i can go and say this person is the best singer in the world this person's best dancer in the world this person's you know, one of the funniest people you probably ever meet. But if they can't back it up, if they can't support it in one way, shape, or fashion, then it's not going to work out for them. So I do agree with that. I do agree with the concept of, yes, that whole, I put this person on, I put that person on. Um, it's more so like saying I helped assist them, which we respect. We respect, but it's almost like a slight discrediting. And then also... You always, well, of course, we say the people who become successful. <laughs> what about the others? But uh, let's see what else Mike Epps. What, what else did I think was important in this interview? Like I said, his demeanor was definitely different. And he was definitely very focused on Kevin Hart isn't the problem. Other, you know, certain other people that are also in my direct lane aren't the problem. It's just this huge bureaucracy that we all have to work through in some way, shape, or form. And that's the that's the issue that we're all running to. We're all kind of arguing and squabbling over the same thing. And for what? For what reason? It doesn't make sense. So I liked that. Um, he talked about... He didn't, he didn't really talk about his personal you know, relationships, which is fine. Or um, his kids, which is fine. Um, let's see. Of course, he's cool with Cat Williams. Respects Cat Williams. He was talking about some of the OGs that um, helped him and assist, assisted him. One thing that he did mention, and I think, I don't know if it was online, he also said something. But I do agree with this. Uh, Kevin Hart was very offended, you know, for what Cat Williams, how he responded to the Tiffany Haddish question and stuff. And so then he replied back what he felt was accordingly. But Mike Epps felt like, you know, when you talk about ticket sales and either so much drug use or mental illness, whatever it is, now you're taking this thing to a different level because it's supposed to be about comedy. It's supposed to be, that's the heart of it. We're all comedians. We're we all need to chill out. That's that's the thing. We all need to chill out. And so when it goes from, again, it's a fight. So that's one part. But the other part is now you're bringing this into something personal because feelings were hurt. So now we're talking about these numbers, these numbers that are achieved by doing X amount of stuff that, again, you're going through the gatekeeper in order to do so. And... Oh yeah, speaking of that, gay people. Well, before that, he, so he was just saying, you know, fighting that way. Now you're also taking it to a different place, even though you didn't want um, it to be taken to one place when it had to do with your friend. Something of the sort, something to that effect. Um, but back to the gatekeepers, Charlemagne was saying, but look at all these now black directors 
and producers and entertainers and he said great beautiful gowns no no really beautiful gowns and respect them i respect them all but here's how this works because even with all those people in power they still work with other people they still have to get budgets approved they're not the ones that just have all this money throwing it towards them. come on let's just be honest let's be real about it so you know when i'm for certain roles where people think oh i'm just a shoe in or oh i just got it no for everything he had to audition he had to audition he had to audition i think that was his way of saying instead of a movie being made around me um i had to be the one to go for it and go for all of them now the movies became about me once i was a part of them but i there's still that difference so i said okay i get it but when you think of like kevin hart and he has his production company and whatnot so he's making certain movies and putting himself in it and, you know as you would expect it also helps out the movie um but i get where he's saying it's just different it's just different one the i think my main point was i definitely agree with the gatekeeper stuff and i definitely agree with hollywood as a whole it's toxic and trash and so you know there can be some really good people remember to like this video leave a comment and subscribe and come back